everyone and welcome back to episode 83 of Two Point Hospital. So we are working towards our first star rating in Duckworth upon Bilge. Uh, so we just need to cure five patients with eight bitten uh, once we've completed our research uh, and built the room of course. Uh, we need to get a hospital to level eight, it's currently at level seven, not bad. Uh, and a reputation of 60%. Good day, that's no banality. Today really is a good day, as we conclude the first installment of Reading with Sir Nigel, here on Two Point Radio. My days running a book club at the Daily Sneer were truly some of the best of my life. And I really do feel resuscitated to be at it again. Do join in the discussion, providing that your input is worthy of my time. So before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying uh, we've also got a staff morale goal of 60%, but our staff are pretty happy. Now this pixelated person here, Hortense Lane, is an 8-bitten patient, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so we're going to cure them at some point. Um, hopefully we'll build the room before they need the room, but I've, I've got a feeling we might not. So they might, might just have to leave, to be fair. Um, oh no, we have monobrow. Oh, how rude. Where did that even go? It just vanished. Oh, I didn't shoot it. Okay. Uh, we're working towards training an assistant at the moment and we need to try and get a level 5 staff room, but I think I might skip that goal at the minute. Uh, so we've got our publicity update. Tabitha Winsock's office have sent us this notice following her visit to the hospital. Congratulations, your terrific hospital is the perfect example of progress under Mayor Winsock and will be featured in her upcoming re-election campaign. <laughs> of course it will. Um, we got 15 rep, $10,000 and 20 kudosh. Awesome. Uh, how's our assistant doing in training? Oh, nearly done. Perfect. Awesome. That's what we like to see. Oh, I'm really worried actually. I don't think we will end up curing Hortense Lane. Uh, can we hire another researcher maybe? Um, one with diagnosis. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're, we're just going to do it. Uh, and we're going to get them. Uh, and they are going to become <laughs> a second researcher. Uh, they can go in x-ray when we get one. If need be. Um, oh, oh yeah, they're in anybody right now. Uh, so we've done our training. Uh, we've got a staff promotion. Awesome. Everyone's wanting instant promotion after this training. It's great. Uh, so we just need to see what the next goal will be. We seem to be doing okay. We don't seem to be having too many GP skews. Maybe a little bit. Um, did we have a second GP? We did, didn't we? Right, I tell you what, why don't we open our GP uh, office? Uh, let's see who we, else we could get. I don't want either of you to. Green fingers, weak bladder. You're away. Oh, motivated and charming assistant. Could be better than that horrendous marketer we ended up getting. Don't want you. Cynthia Bungburn starts us off by saying, I like the way the characters do things and then things change based on what they do. That's clever, that is. Oh dear, someone clearly sat facing the wrong way at school, didn't they, Cynthia? I recommend trying something a little more appropriate and rudimentary. The back of a cereal box, perhaps? So we've got a new target to upgrade another machine. We'll get $60,000 and one rep again for that. Uh, so up to 53% rep now, that's pretty good. Um, oh, we've lost a GP. Oh dear. That's not good. We don't seem to have any crazy cues. That's good. How are we doing here? Uh, 648 for our resolution lab research. That's cool. We can upgrade our heart rate. I know. I am aware of this. Uh, but right now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get some more 
Uh, snack machines, I think. Over here. Not that we get any money for snack machines, but we do have to keep our people happy. Oh, here's another person with 8 bitten. <laughs> they look so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool though. I really hope we can build it in time. Otherwise <laughs> all these patients are doomed. <laughs> Poor things. Uh, right, have we got a janitor somewhere? I want to change their outfits. Let's get our high-vis janitors on the go. Uh, could we change our assistants? Do we make them aubergine? Oh, Godric's choice. Oh, that's gross. Lemon, midnight, or inverse. Quite like the aubergine though. Who, who are you? You're our marketer, aren't you? <gasps> oh, look at that! A new diagnosis nurse! Oh yeah, we'll have you. Oh, wrong way. This way. <laughs> uh, we need you. Desperately. Cool. We needed a second diagnosis nurse, and now we have one. Uh, although we do have an upgrade on the go. Annika Fiddle. <laughs> what a name. Alfie Shaker. We've got some random people in this time. Brangelina shirt dress. Oh, wow. Uh, would that be our teacher? <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a funny name. <laughs> Brangelina. Wowzers. Oh, no, there's another one with 8-bit in there. Oh, come on, researchers. Take a moment Come on. to discuss the excellent veneer of this tome. The wild state might not compare to the leather-bound editions of old, but a certain modern class to its binding in print would really rather like it. He who said don't judge a book by its cover probably only owned one kind of shoe polish. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can put this any other way round. Oh, how did we end up with two plants in here? Was that me just then? I want to make it so that I can give them the servers. Okay, it'll have to be like that. Oh, they've got um, got no radiator. That was silly. Um, mm. Okay, might be a bit warm. Sorry, dudes. In the event of an earthquake, How's maintenance? How are we doing? Let's have a bit of a maintenance run. Oh, <laughs> well, that's one way of uh, maintaining something. Just sell it. <laughs> By accident, of course. <laughs> Oh dear. There's no hope for me, there really isn't. Um, oh good, they are getting back on with that. I was hoping that would speed it up, you see. Uh, oh, water 10 plants. Perfect. We can do that. Maintenance Plants need water. Oh no, I've done it again. Stop it. <laughs> it's because it didn't need watering. Oh, I put a rose bush in there. I didn't want a rose bush in there. That's a bit too fancy uh, for our pharmacy. We've watered two, not bad. Oh, let's get these ones watered as well. Can't get that one. Oh, we've got a minging bin there. Oh no, we need a psychiatry. <gasps> Charming likes to argue and motivated. I don't really want you, but I might. Have. Oh, let's see what we get in two days. We haven't really got a room for a psychiatry, though. We're having a bit of a space issue right now. I suppose we could sell that toilet. Yep, yeah, we've diagnosed night fever. I get the patient to wait, and if in doubt, we'll sell that toilet. Could always build a little one there. Need be. Uh, 
Oh, we didn't get a psychiatrist. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to have to get this likes to argue dude, unfortunately. Uh, right, you train in psychiatry, please. Oh, no, where are we going to put an 8 bitten room? If we, if we have to... How much are these plots of land? We're going to need them already. 30,000, 35,000. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's... We did it! Yay! We watered all our plants. Right, let's... Let's sell that and get a psychiatry right, set up in here. There's no easy way to do this. You just have to do it like that for now. Um, once we get a bit more land, we'll be able to um, figure out the layout of the hospital a bit better because it's not great right now, um, but it's just kind of uh, an it'll do <laughs> for now. Do you know what? I'm going to be really tight and I'm going to make them sit facing the patient. <laughs> uh, so we want diagnostic bookcases and treatment in here. I know they're a bit expensive but we're smashing these targets so I think we're okay. What else do we want in here? Nurse to the boss. Gives them a random rug. Cool. We've got a psychiatry. Oh, we've got two staff promotions. Oh, yes, we've done our research. Awesome. We've invented a debugger to cure eight bitten patients. Okay. Um, oh, now we've got a problem. Uh, so we haven't got room for one. Let's have a look um, and see what we could do. We could sell a training room for now, I suppose. Um, where has the debugger? Resolution lab, even. And it requires a doctor. Okay. Like them with treatment? Perfect, we'll have you. Right, let's sell this room for now. Hang on, no, that might be a better one to keep. Tell you what, let's, let's get rid of this one. Because uh, that's a bigger space, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. I would have had to rearrange um, research and everything for this, otherwise. Four by four. Of course it is. Um, oh, wow. That is huge. Um, okay. Are they going to walk in? So the staff member's going to go down into the middle and they're going to walk in one side and out the other. Okay, let's just put that forward a little bit. Uh, we can have some windows. Let's watch them being debugged. Give them a bin. Um, oh, those rooms don't have coffee makers. Well, that's rude, isn't it? I was going to steal it. <laughs> uh, well, they could have one. Um, in there as well. Uh, right, let's get this. We need a where's their fire extinguisher Do, have they not put a fire extinguisher oh, I was going to steal it they haven't got a fire extinguisher in that room oh my word they've set up this hospital terribly have a fire extinguisher there let's get one in here and here before they explode or something ridiculous they had one in general diagnosis <laughs> stupid Stupid people who made these rooms. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, want a plant? That's prestige level three. That's not bad. Uh, give them a couple of cupboards uh, that we can hide stuff behind, of course. <laughs> Always essential. Uh, and I do don't think we'll have an eight-bitten poster yet, uh, but maybe we'll get one of those. Oh, look! Oh, nice smelling sanitizer increases hygiene. Oh, you can have it in your rooms. Oh, I like that. Oh my word, that's Jasmine Odyssey sanitizer. So they're in the treatment rooms. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's have a gold record. Why not? Just for some fun. We'll have a clock. 
Uh, and I wanted the gold star awards. Thank you. Prestige 4. Perfect. Uh, so this is our uh, debugger. And where's that dude that we just hired? For oh no! <gasps> I was training them in that room and I've just sold it. <laughs> Take a step back. They're not gonna go there, are they? This particular novel fits into a Mr. Yeti's old. For the publicly educated amongst you, that's a term from the French for egg basket. The eggs in this case being books. One of you noted that it came after the ones before it and before the one after it. That's not bad, actually. Moving on. Why is that a thing so? It's taller than the room, look. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, how bizarre. Can we not put them outside then? Oh, you can. Oh, it's called nice smelling sanitizer. Okay, well, we're going to... Oh, no, don't sell the room. <laughs> I've completely lost the plot. We're going to put that outside the room. Um, it's still level 4, so that's fine. So, anywho, um, this is our debugger. Um, so, we'll take a look at that as soon as we can. <gasps> oh, no! Epidemic warning. Oh, these were a bane of my life when I was playing this hospital. Okay. Abonna abon I can't even say this. Abominable curse, a contagious disease, has been detected in the hospital. The Two Point Centre for Disease Control, TPCDC, will reward us if they don't have to get involved. We've been issued a limited supply of vaccines, so it's up to us to vaccinate people displaying the telltale signs of the disease before it spreads. If we run out of vaccines, or too many infected people escape, the TPCDC will step in and handle the epidemic. Abom <laughs> Abominable curse is characterised by a peculiar walk reminiscent of patients suffering from premature mummification. The disease spreads through a powerful and ancient sneeze. Uh, challenge. So, four infected people detected, 20 vaccines available. Uh, the rewards are 15 rep, 10 kudosh and $2,500. Uh, plus a successful vaccinations bonus of $300 per person and vaccines remaining bonus of $800 per vaccine. Uh, so this is quite uh, easy to spot um, when you actually spot it. Uh, <laughs> when they're actually moving around, but they could be in a ward, in a bed, uh, they could be in the toilet, sat down, what I've found is with this is you have to do things like, there you go, get them up off their bench. That's a good one. Uh, so we have our first patient that needs vaccinating. And now you can either do it here uh, from there or you can use this symbol here. Uh, and we're going to vaccinate them. Uh, but let's just have a little uh, look at them before. So yeah, they walk like they've got their arms out like a mummy. Uh, so they are vaccinated, so that's one of our four. Uh, have we got anyone else sat down? That's the question. Oh, there's another one. Mr. Mono Brown. There's another one. That's three of four. Johnson writes in, Hello, so excited for book club. Always wanted to do one, but never had the chance. My book didn't come in time, but I look forward to reading it when it arrives. Promise to plan better in the future, lol. I'll have a segment for you once you've done the required reading. And here's our last one. Uh, one of our monobrow patients. So there we go. Contagious disease eradicated. Well done. We successfully eradicated the contagious disease. The TPCDC will reward us for our outstanding efforts. How did I manage to say TPCDC but not outstanding? Um, 
infected people vaccinated four non remaining and 16 vaccines remaining uh, so we got uh, 50 10 kudosh $2,500 plus a successful vaccinations bonus of 1200 and a vaccines remaining bonus of 12800 awesome well we ain't gonna complain at that so we have a goal uh, to restock some vending machines um, but they actually aren't really that bad but we'll give it a go I think that's, they're the only ones we've got. Oh, a ward emergency. Oh, that would be a good one to do. Um, what happened to our other, our other ward nurse? Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking properly. So we'll put that back up to two staff and we'll say yes to our ward emergency. Right, so new illness. Wow, so much going on right now. Uh, eight bitten discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Eight bitten. Sufferers exhibit dangerously low levels of pixel density and an unhealthy longing for the recent past. Caused by bites from low res spiders. We'll send the patient for treatment in our resolution lab. Okay, are we going to be able to see this? No, have we missed it? That's Patients the question. The oh no, we've got Hortense Lane is going to go uh, to. Uh, the resolution lab. Well, have we restocked our vending machines? <laughs> oh, new illness, jazz hands. Okie dokie. Uh, oh no, I bet we've got a queue for it here now, haven't we? We have, and they're still training because I messed up. Right, what can we do here? So we'll grade our resolution lab. Uh, we could do that. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Seems as though we don't have the other rooms right now. Uh, so we'll get them to do that. Uh, and we will take a look at 8 Bitten uh, very soon. Uh, but seeing as though we've had an epidemic, I think I'm going to focus on that right now. And we've got our ward, ward patients coming in. <coughs> Can we hire another one? another nurse? <laughs> we could, uh, but don't think we need to. Some disturbing news regarding an outbreak of disease in Two Point County. Let us hope the brave men and women in our local hospital can deal with the matter swiftly. If not, let us hope a helicopter can airlift me to a safe location. Cool, so we'll get our goal for restocking vendor machines. Fifty thousand dollars, that's good. Oh wow. Look at the state of our ward. There we go, we've got our target, but I am going to end this part here. Uh, so we'll check out 8 Bitten in the next uh, episode. Uh, we'll see what the cure is like uh, in that one. Uh, and hopefully we'll get our psychiatry doctor trained up uh, and everything else. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And I really hope to see you again soon.